The knee is a vulnerable joint that bears a great deal of stress from everyday activities. Activities such as walking, jogging, lifting, and kneeling. So because our knees are really important in doing our everyday activities, having knee pain is really frustrating. Now, what are the major causes of knee pain and what can we do to make it better? Hello and welcome back to Dr. Solar channel. This is Dr. Fatima and today we are going to talk about how to stop our knee pain. So let's go. Basically, the knees are where two long leg bones are attached together by muscles, ligaments, and tendons. About 20 years ago, there was this interesting study that evaluated the effect of exercise therapy on knee pain. In this study, they selected the people with knee pain and divided them to two groups. One group received exercise therapy and the other did not. And as you might expect, at the end of study, the the group that received exercise therapy had better outcome and reduction in knee pain. But why? Why exercise therapy is that important and effective on knee pain? You should know that there are two groups of muscles involved in our knees, including the quadriceps muscles that are located in front of the thighs and straighten the legs. And the other ones are hamstring muscles that are located on the back of our thighs and bend the leg at the knee. Therefore, you can do some exercises and make these muscles stronger and reduce the pressure on your knee and therefore reduce the pain of your knee. There are several exercises that can help you alleviate some of your symptoms and here I am going to teach you some of them. Before we go to the exercises, I must say that if you had a recent injury to your knee or if you have significant swelling, redness, warmth and tenderness around your knee, just go to your doctor and don't try these exercises because in these cases you might need more examination and medical treatment. Now let's go to the exercises. The first exercise is straight leg raise. For this exercise, lie on your back and keep your uninvolved knee bent. Tighten your thigh muscle on the involved side. Keeping the muscle contracted, slowly lift the injured leg about 12 to 16 inches in the air. Do not allow your knee to bend as you do this. Hold the leg at the top of the motion for 1 to 2 seconds before slowly lowering it down again. Try 3 sets, each including 10 repetitions of this exercise. This exercise is a great initial way to target the quadriceps muscle in front of your thigh. This technique activates the knee supporting muscles without putting extra pressure on the knee joint itself. The second exercise that I want to teach you is single leg balance. In order to do this exercise, stand on a level surface and straighten your injured knee by squeezing your thigh muscle. Lift the other leg on the air and try to maintain your balance without leaning or using your hands. Hold this position for about 30 seconds if you can before returning your leg to the ground. Repeat this pose for about 5 to 10 times and you can also try to increase the challenge for yourself by trying to stand on something wobbly like a sofa or a cushion. The third exercise is seated knee extension. For doing this exercise, try to sit on the edge of a higher chair with your legs dangling toward the ground. Secure a resistance band around your ankle and tie it to the leg of the chair. A light cloth weight can also be fastened around your ankle instead. Without lifting your thigh off the chair, slowly extend your injured knee against the resistance. When your affected leg is totally straight, try to hold this position for about 1-2 to two seconds before slowly bending it down towards the ground. Complete three sets, each including 10 repetitions of this exercise. This exercise is another easy way to focus on your quadriceps muscles using a simple resistance band. The fourth exercise is restricted side stepping. In 
addition to quadriceps muscle, the gluteus medius muscle plays an influential role in supporting your inner knee. Building strength in this fan-shaped muscle, which is located outside of your hip, can help reducing the symptoms of different conditions. These conditions include medical knee osteoarthritis, medical meniscal degeneration, an NCL sprain, a patellar subluxation, or pes answering bursitis. For doing this exercise, stand with your feet shoulder width apart and tie a resistance band around both of your ankles. Bend your knees slightly and without losing the squat, take a large step to the side using your injured leg. Slowly bring your uninvolved leg back toward you until the legs are once again shoulder width apart. Try not to let your trunk lean to the side as you make these movements. After doing 10 steps on one side, reverse and then do 10 times at the opposite side. Try to do 3 sets of each side. If you do these exercises regularly, then your knee pain is more likely to reduce by time. That was it for today. Thank you guys for watching and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you have a medical problem that you think that I can help you with, please leave a comment below and I'll try to answer it as soon as possible. Bye!